Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Taylor Toned. I'm Gabby and today I have for you 22 minutes of bar and Pilates, toning, sculpting, burning, shaking, everything in between. It's going to be a fabulous workout today. I know you're absolutely going to love it. So make sure you give me a huge thumbs up. Enjoy the workout. Follow me on Instagram as well. I am at Taylor toned. You don't need any equipment today, but I would advise you do have a mat or if you've not got a mat, don't worry, grab a soft surface. Maybe you could lay a few towels on top of one another. Just make sure you've got something to protect your knees and your wrists from the floor. Let's get straight into it. Let's do this. Bring your hands on towards your waistline. You're going to draw your belly button in. I want you to slide your shoulders backwards and down. Eye line to me. We're going to roll the shoulders all the way up, round, down and back again. Inhale, exhale, up, round, down and back. Now two forwards. Roll them forwards and roll them forwards. Hands onto the waistline still. You're going to bring the feet here like this. So you can either take a little point if you want that ballistic intention or you can just tap it in. Tap it in, tap it in, tap it in. Tapping those feet in towards that other foot. Bend through the leg that comes in and in. Go in, go in. Now you're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Go in, go in for eight, for seven. Hands stay here. Go five, go four, go three, go two, one. Now feet wide, take a little bend through those knees. You're gonna bring your knee to elbow, knee to elbow, squeeze out, knee to elbow, step it out, knee to elbow, step it out, knee to elbow, step it out, knee to elbow. Just give me seven like this, six like this, modification, hands just stack. Go five and in, four more, you'll feel it through that hip here, go three and out, just give me two and out, last one through the center, other side, in and tap. Go in. So it doesn't feel good for you. You can always bring the arms here and just cross them over the body or keep those hands behind the head. We're activating those obliques. We're getting the body nice and warm here. Soft knee in that supporting leg. Six and out. Go five and out. Keep going. Four. Then to the side. Three. This is two. Now last one. Feet go wide. So from here, drop the hands down. You're going to turn out through the feet. We're going to get into that bar in tension. Feet wide on the hips. You're going to drop the hips down and lift the hips up. Drop the hips down. It's so easy to go wrong with this one. Natural turnout. Knees are over that second toe. Taking that deep plie down to the floor. Lift back up. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Hips go down and squeeze up, lift. Now up the arms. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, go exhale. We sweep up some leaves and we throw them in the air. We sweep them down. If you're like me, I don't like mess. I've got this weird thing. I don't know, I've just got weird things. I don't like mess. I hate getting messy. I used to hate mud playing school. Oh, I used to hate glitter playing school. Oh, all those things. So you won't like to visualize doing this. You've got three, let's open those hips and pelvis. Two, sweep down to the air. One more, sweep down to the air. Sink those hands high, drop the hips low. Arms stay in this little V. We're gonna pull, sit down. Down, squeeze, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. If you feel like your knees now are rolling in and forward, Make sure you're really using those adductor muscles, those muscles in the front thigh, to turn out. If you've got tight hips, it might be hard to go so low in this one. So stay up nice and lifted, and you should feel a fair burn through the thighs. So less about how low you can go, and more about how much burn you can get going on through those legs. You've got eight here, seven here, six here, five. Four. You've got three arms prayer in two, one. Now arms prayer, left heel take it high, but weight stays in the middle. You're gonna twist, center, twist in, center. Yes, ring out through that waistline. We're twisting torso to the side. This left heel is popped away from the floor and the hips stay neutral. Make sure you don't do this. See this all day long. Don't let this knee roll in. This knee stays fired back, so use those thigh muscles. You are twisting like a Lego man. You can twist from through the waist, do that. Twist, center, three. Heart open, collarbone to knee. Two, and center, 
one, go center, heel goes down, other heel up, twist it and center, twist it and center. Weight is still equal between both of your feet, heel is popped but knees don't move, oh my gosh, I'm burning and center, you got two, twist it, center, one more, through the middle, drop that heel down, sink the hips lower, dig the heels in, take those toes off. Now pulse it, now pulse it. Let's reach those arms into a little balletic fifth position here. Find that dance intention, that ballet intention. Are your ears over your shoulders? Are your shoulders over your hips? Are your abs in strong? And are your glutes sinking in between both the heels? Is the body upright? You've got 10, nine, you've made it through your first five minutes. In seven, pulse it, six, pulse it, five, pulse it, four, pulse it, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, stand to the back of your mat. I want you to mirror me, roll down towards your chest. You're gonna tap the hands to the floor, then soften, bend through the knees, roll up. Let's take that Pilates intention, that roll down through the spine. Inhale as you exhale, chin to the chest, nice and slow. Drop those hands down, bend the knees, roll up. Last one, you're gonna hold down to the floor now. Inhale as you exhale. We're gonna hold down to the floor, and we're gonna walk all the way into a little box position. Hands directly on your shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Now tuck the toes under, you're gonna lift the knees up and away and you're gonna hover and hold right here. We're gonna go one tap, one tap, one lift. Let's keep it simple to start with. Knees underneath those hips. I said today when I was teaching this exact move, it looks so easy, but oh my gosh, it's hard. Tap the knees, lift the knees. Abs in strong, you've got flat back, eye line in front of those fingertips. You should feel a burn through the shoulders, through the abs through the front of those thighs. You got five, lift, hold. You have four, oh my gosh. You got three, we have two more together. Last one, now keep those knees up and away, up and away. You can either stay there or you're gonna try, roll to me with the knees, try and go little salute, hello, good morning. And you're gonna roll back to the center, hand goes down. You're gonna try and now roll the other way, I know. So we try and roll round, twist the knees, Hand comes up, roll away, salute to the other side of the room and bring it back to the center. So the knees the whole time stay and enjoy from the floor as you roll around, we twist, we roll it back round. We're building stabilizing and strength in those shoulders, working the waistline, working those thighs, back through center. This is three, salute, hello, back through the center. This is two. Salute, hello, is your neighbor over there? Is your partner over there even? Back to the center, maybe cat, maybe dog. You can roll around, salute, hello. And you're gonna roll through the center, hands and shoulders, knees and hips. Now let's hold, let's hold. I'm gonna do an impression of what not to do. So none of this, oh, uh -huh. we have a flat back to engage the abs. We have hands on the shoulders, oh, and the thighs, front of the thighs should be burning. 10 seconds, then push to that down dog. You've got this seven, six, Press into your down dog in five. You've got to go four. Push up in three, in two, in one. Push up. <sighs> Walk the hands in. You're going to bend, soften through the knees now and roll all the way up. Okay, we'll move into another thigh set. Feet come into a small first. If you feel like you need maybe a wall or something to hold onto or a chair, Grab that now, bring your heels nice and close. It can literally be a wall, it doesn't matter. You're gonna bring your heels together, small first. If not, hands onto the waistline, we try it out first. Take a bend through the knees, knees over that middle toe, and you're gonna shimmy your heels now to a little kitten heel. So heels are lifted, but heels are connected. Now sink down and hold your plie, so stay right there. If you're in an overturned out position, you'll just feel it through the knees, and you'll feel a little bit weird through those feet. So all 10 toes are grounded, knees are bent when an isometric cold now, so you should already be trembling, shaking a little bit. Heels together, knees open, and drop down. Now this left arm, you're gonna bring it to me, wrap around a beach ball. We're gonna go side, down, lift, out. Side, front, out to side, down. Go up, go side, go down. Go up, go side, go down. Lift it, out to the side, down. I know if you've got that wall here, you wanna use this hand on the wall. Or on the waistline if you can. Down, so you've got to bend through the knees, burning out those thighs, down. We go up, we go out, bring it down. We go up, we go out, bring it down. Three, lift it, 
out to the side, down, two, lift it, go side, go down, one more, lift it, side, down, now bring that hand to me, find a little small first position, if you don't want to take a small your first position, it's fine, just to extend the arms out to me, roll the shoulder down, we're going to pulse it now, down, down press, down press. This is where the real burn starts to happen. We've had that isometric hold, moving straight into movement, and it's like, wow, oh my gosh, who put a fire in my thighs? <laughs> little press, little press, arm in first, slide the shoulders down, open that heart to me. I was always taught in my dance classes, this little pinky, this little finger, should be in line with the belly button. You actually normally wear a belt when you do Russian ballet, and it's in line, in line, sorry, I can't get my words out, my thighs are on fire. In line, little pinky in line with that bell. Scoop around that beach ball. Don't want that, you came for the Pilates burn, the controlled action, just extend the arm, roll the shoulders down. You got 10, you got nine, I know. Seven, six, probably instructors can't count. Five, four, three, two, hold. I want you to now shoot this arm, over the top of the head. So over the top of the head in towards the fifth position. Drop down, stay there, breathe in, breathe, exhale. Bend through those knees, inhale, exhale. We're gonna take it down for two. Drop, oh my gosh, for two, then lift. Oh, drop down, drop, hold, my thighs are absolutely on fire. If you're a man doing this, I apologize. You know that day when you're due on your period and your whole body just aches? I got out of bed this morning, whole body was aching. But I did a workout and I felt so much better for it. So if that's you today, we're in this together. Free period. It's not too much for you, Jim. Drop down, drop down. Lift up, lift up two. Lower it, lower it, lift it. Oh my gosh, one more. Drop it, drop it, lift it. Stay right there, on forwards. If you can now, bring this hand off the wall or off the waistline. First position and pulse. Yes, pulse. Hips to heels now. Don't lean forwards. Open the collarbone, the heart to me. Knees over that second toe. Drop those hips a little lower. You are out in 10, in nine, in eight. We're done in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bad news is, after this arm set, We've got the second side. Okay, give the legs a little shake up. You're gonna bring your arms now out to the side. Bend the knees, bend the knees. Abs in strong, let's roll the shoulders. Round, 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 round. When I used to go to a gym back at home, I always used to do this arm set with the guy. He would always do the same arm set every single week. I kind of hated him because I knew the arm set was coming. The same time I kind of loved him because I got really strong through the shoulders. But these shoulder rolls, oh my God, they're a killer. So roll the shoulders instead of the arms. Shoulders roll, shoulders roll. Five, four, three soft knees. Two, one, now four. Four with the shoulders, four with the shoulders. So we're not taking weights today. We're looking for that long, lean appearance through our muscles. We're gonna look like a dancer. When we do lots of bar workouts, roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders. I can't promise major results in one class, but I do promise with consistency, consistency is key with making a change to your body. Consistency with your workouts, you're gonna make that change. Circle the shoulders forwards now. You've got three, two, one. Now the arms, tap the thighs, lift back up. Tap the thighs, lift back up. Feel so good to go down, feel so hard to come back up. And lift, go down, go up. Go down, lift up, four more. Drop it, lift it, three. Drop it, lift it, two. Drop it, lift it, one. Guess what? Killer arm rolls, let's go. Roll the shoulders slow now. Roll the shoulders so not right, it burns. Roll those shoulders. Why is everything so much harder when you're a woman, when you're due on? We roll those shoulders. Roll those shoulders, let's go four. Roll the shoulders, let's go three. Oh my gosh, roll the shoulders. Two more. Roll it, one more. Roll it, now the hands again. Tap it, lift it, tap it, lift it. Tap it, maybe you're doing this workout at home, laughing at the screen, like Gabby, this isn't even burning. <laughs> Tap down, lift up, four more, lift hold, three more, lift hold, two more, lift hold, one lift hold and stay, 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 stay. 
We're gonna flip the palms back. Yes, flip them forwards. Flip the palms back, abs in. Soft knee, heart to me. Collarbone open, twist. Twist it now, now faster. Forwards back, forwards back. This is it, forwards back. Forwards back, forwards back, forwards back. We have nailed it in 10, nine, eight more twists, seven more twists, six more twists, five, drop the arms in, four, drop the arms in, three, two, one. Heels together, feet come open. If you need to rearrange yourself, drag the chair across, go ahead, get that wall, go ahead. You're gonna bring hands onto the waistline, bend the knees, lift the heels. Heels are connected right now, heels are connected. Glutes to your heels. Other arm now, other arm. First, second, bra-ba. First, second, bra-ba. We go up, we go out, we go down, we go lifted. Don't feel like doing these funky bar arms. Just out, just down, just up. Just out, so it's you. Down, go first, second, and down. Go first, go second, and down. Now squeeze your heels together. Drop a little deeper in towards your plie now. So sink those hips even deeper down towards your heels because this is your last bicep. Go down, take it up, three. Go out, go down, lift up. This is two. Out, go down, lift up. This is one. Out, go down, lift up and hold. Now start to pulse it. Down squeeze, down squeeze, down squeeze, down squeeze. Knees over those second toes. Heart open, collarbone open. You have a ruler at the back of your t-shirt. Maybe you've got a piece of string. It's attached to the ceiling and it runs crown of the head, down through the spine and all the way to the tailbone. We go a little press, little press for eight, for seven, for six, for five. Heels are slightly lifted. Four more, three, two. Now change, arm over the top of the head. Make that little fifth position. Drop down, lift up. Little drop down, little lift. I'm quite close to the camera today. Normally my arm would be all the way up here in a proper fifth, but I feel like I need to keep it in shot. I feel like I'm just tapping myself on the head. <laughs> drop down, little lift. Drop down, I'm gonna move back a tiny bit. Drop down, little lift. We go, little down, little lift. Okay, five, and then your finish is coming. Four more than that killer first. Three, the arms first. Two to that change, last one. Drop, hold your plie. Reach that arm to a first. Reach that other arm to that first. If you want that Pilates intention, arms straight. If not, wrap around that beach ball. Slide the shoulders down. Pull the abs in away from me. Little pinky in line with the belly button. Now pulse it, now pulse it, now pulse it. Can we go there? Let's do this together because this is the end of your thighs. Maximum shake and burn. Everyone now, drop your hips two inches lower. Make sure your heels are off the ground and touching. Little press. You have just a final 10, nine, eight, you're out in seven, six, this is five, four to the mat in three, in two, Whew. one. Okay, down towards your mat, we're gonna stretch at the end, I cannot feel my legs. <laughs> down towards the mat, you're gonna come straight on towards your back. Straight onto your back, heels come in now. Heels come in, knees under the hips. I just want you to lift the hips to a bridge, and lower back down. So that's all you're gonna do. To start with, just lift the hips to a bridge and drop back down. If you want it harder, hips don't touch the floor, so maybe put your fingertips there so they can't touch, and then fire them back up, slow and controlled. Pilates bridge, hips adjust. Tips a little up and away, and down to the ground. Heels in line with your knees, and down to the ground. We go lift and push, and lower. Now you're gonna bring your hands, you're gonna insulate your fingertips, bring your hands behind the head and elbows come forwards. Now drop the hips, lift to a crunch and down to the floor and lift those hips again. So we go down with the hips, lift with the head and the shoulders, down to the floor and lift those hips up. Three more, down with the hips, lift up to a crunch and lower down. This one's quite tough because you might need to keep rearranging your feet and your torso. She so should get a burn as you drop down and lift the hips. The booty burn. Drop down. Now lift all the way up. Head, neck, shoulders come up and away from the floor. You're going to go arms out towards your feet. So arms out to the feet. We're going to tap it round to the left, round to the right, round to the left, 
round to the right. Try not to let those knees move. Modification here, feeling it too much through the neck. Bring the hands behind the head or just hold stillness or keep tapping those feet. Round tap, round tap, round tap. Chin towards the chest, round tap, round tap, round tap. You have your final minute coming up in eight, seven, six, lower down in five, penguin tap it four, three, penguin tap it two, one, lower down, raise the hips in the air, you're gonna go single leg bridge, one knee into the chest now, and we're gonna pulse it up, 30 seconds each side. This is your final minute, lift the hips, lift the hips. Want it harder right now, flex one palm up, other hand joins it, flex that palm and lift, and lift, and lift those hips. Lift up, you have 10 seconds this side, then we're switching legs. Send those hips away from the floor, option underneath your digs in. We lift the hips, three, two, one, now switch. Other side, don't drop those glutes, other knee up, let's go. Pulse the hips. This is the end of your tailor tone workout. Dig that supporting heel into the floor now. Send those hips up and away, working your glutes. So this class, you've worked your thighs, you've worked your arms, you've worked your glutes, and you've worked your abs. You've tackled everything in under 20 minutes. We get a stretch in four, in three, in two, one. Well done. Drop the feet down towards the floor, turn the palms up towards the sky. Relax the body, breathe, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Draw one knee in towards the chest, grab it. Draw the other knee in towards the chest, grab it. If you want to, curl the chin in, curl yourself a bit of ball. Breathe in and breathe, exhale. Left foot over the top of the right knee into that figure four. Turn out through that left. If you want that further intention, take your underneath foot away and you'll find a deep stretch. Send both the feet away from yourself. Hands over the top of the head and stretch in the morning like you've just woke up. Breathe in. Breathe, exhale. And then other side, ground the feet to the floor and bring that foot over the top and draw, if you want to, that knee up. I actually do stretch every morning in bed. You know when you wake up and you're like, but it does not look like that. <laughs> it definitely does not look like that. I look a lot more like I've been dragged through a bush. <laughs> I don't know what I do in my sleep. I roll around a lot though. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Rock yourself back, rock yourself up and forwards. You're gonna turn around towards me and cross those legs. Lateral side stretch, reach that hand over, breathe in and breathe out. Other way, reach the hand over, breathe in and breathe out. Bring your thumb and your fingers together. Bring your hands on towards your knees, turn your palms up, roll the shoulders down, close the eyes. Nice deep breath in through the nose. And a big release, exhale through the mouth. And well done everybody. You made it through your 22 minute workout with me. Hope you loved it, give me a massive thumbs up and I'll see you all again very soon for another class. Bye.